So you want to show your dog. This video is part one in a series designed to help get you started. And Apple here is going to help us. First you have to determine if your dog is eligible to be shown. And most of what I have to say is geared towards Cavaliers and in the United States. However, a lot of it is also applicable to other breeds and other countries, uh, just not exactly the same. Your dog will be eligible to be shown if, first of all, it has not been spayed or neutered, and secondly, if the uh, litter and the dog have been properly registered. Now, the largest registry in the United States is the American Kennel Club, the AKC, and pretty much every dog show will uh, require you to have an AKC registration number. So you should check with the breeder that you got the dog from and make sure that the litter was properly registered. And if the litter was properly registered, even if your dog doesn't have an individual registration number, it can easily be obtained from AKC. So talk to your breeder about that. If the dog has been spayed or neutered, there are still other venues where you could get involved in showing. Of course, there are fun matches and things like that that you can look into where there are no championship points awarded, no standings or anything like that, but it does kind of give you a feel for the show ring and uh, also there are veteran competitions if your dog is older and we have the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel Club USA which has an entirely separate point and show system from the American Kennel Club and uh, as long as your dog is properly registered and you become a member of the club you can show your dog in that venue so there are plenty of opportunities definitely speak to the breeder that you got the dog from you don't need very much to get started. You will need a show lead. Show leads are not heavy leads. You don't use a separate lead and collar. It's just one unit and it's generally light. Um, this one has little bangles on it to make it look more sparkly. You don't even need that. That's really uh, just a little fancy uh, accoutrement that we sometimes like to have in the show ring. But just a plain lead, a color that won't distract from your dog. I like the type that has this uh, padding in the collar which makes it a little more gentle on the dog's neck and it's fitted on the dog very loosely I will tighten it slightly but you'll notice there's still a gap in there uh, so that the dog doesn't get uh, really strangled or uncomfortable you'll also need some treats in order to lure the dog and to reward the dog when he or she does things properly. Uh, a lot of uh, handlers use fancy foods like, oh, uh, like for example, freeze-dried liver or boiled chicken or whatever. Personally, I like Cheerios. Cheerios are very good, very low in calories. The ingredients are good. They're easily accessible, easy to put in your pocket, and the dogs love the crunch. When you put your dog on this lead, make sure that the lead is slightly bunched up so you don't have too much slack on it. And in your left hand, the dog is always on your left in the show ring. See, she likes Cheerios. If you haven't yet taught your dog to walk on a lead at all, consult my video on that topic. I'll put a link to that right here so that you can watch that. But as long as your dog has learned to walk on a lead, then the next step is to get him or her to walk properly on a show lead. At any dog show, the process of showing your dog in its class really consists of three phases. In the first phase, the entire class comes in, the judge will look them up and down, they'll move around as a group. In the second phase, your dog is examined in the case of a toy breed, on an examination table, and then we'll do some individual moving. And in the third phase, your dog will be shown again with the whole group, which is when the judge will probably have you move one more time with the group as a whole and make his or her picks. You'll notice that most of that has to do with moving the dog. So the very first thing you want to do is to teach your dog how to move properly in the ring. And all I'm going to do is try to get her to walk at a good pace, a good pace for a cavalier, 
means that you as the handler will be walking at a stiff walking pace but not running. You see some of the larger breeds where the handlers run with the dog, that's not the proper pace for a Cavalier. A stiff walking pace is good. And so this is what we'll do with her. Keep in mind she's already been trained and she's already been shown. Let's go. Some things to keep in mind, you want a firm but not tight lead. You want the lead to be as loose as you can without letting the dog lose focus. You also want to be able to move down and back and in a counterclockwise circle. That would kind of accommodate the whole thing with the ring. In future episodes we will talk about how to free stack your dog, how to stack your dog on the table, how to do various moving patterns that are asked for in the ring, and some other things like that. But in the meantime, if you want to get started in showing your dog, good luck, work at it. It only takes a few minutes of practice a day. Apple, good girl. <laughs>